Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to find anyone with the power of open source data. We're going to be using a tool called Tuki OSINT. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. It really helps out a ton. Now over here on the corner, you should be able to see the timestamps so you guys can easily skip through. Remember, this is for educational purposes only. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to open up a command prompt. Right now I'm on Windows and it's going to work the same on all operating systems. All right, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to make a directory for our tools. So we're going to do mkdir tools. There we go. That means we're making a directory of tools. Now we're going to enter it. So we're going to do cd tools. There we go. Let's clear the screen. Now we can clone our repository. So if you look here, here let's resize that a bit. There we go. Here is the Tuki OSINT repository. So we're going to copy this URL up here. There we go. Okay, get rid of that. And we're going to type git clone. And you're going to paste the link here. And we're just going to press enter. And now, depending on your speed of your internet, it should take some time. There we go. We can type clear once more. We can type ls. Now we have a folder called Tuki OSINT. So we're actually going to enter our folder here. So we're going to type cd tuki dash osnet. There we go. Now we, if we type ls, we get a whole bunch of files here. We're only going to worry about brib.py and the requirements.txt for now. So we're actually going to need to install the Python dependencies. So to do this, we type pip install dash r and then requirements.txt. There we go. Now for me, it was really quickly because I already have everything installed, but for you, it might take a little bit longer. So depending on your Python version, you're going to type Python, oops, Python 3.12 toki dash osint. Now because I'm using Python 3.12, we add the 3.12 there. There we go. And it's going to start working. You don't have to worry about any of this. It's just a lot of configuration stuff. It helps us developers. So here it's going to ask us if we want a user agent file. And yes, we're going to download that. Now this might take a couple seconds, you know, depending on your Wi-Fi. Yeah, for me it was actually pretty quickly. So let's expand that just a bit. And there we go. We have Tuki OSINT installed. Let's go ahead and look over some of the, uh, the help menu here. So we're going to type no to updates. I'm just going to hit enter. Then we're going to type dash h. There we go. Here are some of the usages. I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm just going to cover the basic and the most popular options. Uh, the rest you can find on the wiki. So we're going to type clear here. There we go. Now we're going to look at just doing a simple scan. So we're going to just do dash s. Oh, sorry. We didn't we didn't specify a target because in the beginning we just hit enter. So we need a target. We're gonna do whoever. We're gonna do we're gonna do alpha red right here. How about that? Makes sense. Do that. But we're gonna do alpha red bird. There we go. We're gonna say yes. Now in just a couple seconds here, see it's bringing out a lot of socials. So I'm only I'm gonna stop that there. I don't want to run through the whole thing but that's the base usage so if we run a command again there we go we're gonna say no to updates because we're on the latest version you don't need to update and we're gonna put in our target here there we go and we're gonna we're gonna do d dash f f is for fast mode we do dash f we can do dash a and then we'll do dash s. So f is for fast, a is for all, and s is to start it. So it's going to do a quick scan, and it's going to show us everything. And then it's going to start. Here we go. Here it is. Yes. I see some of these here are false positive. Right here it's saying YouTube is a false positive. But this is my channel. You're watching my video on my channel. So this is incorrect. But some of these here, a lot of these are correct. Like Twitch, this is correct. My, that's my Twitter. See, it's pulling all of this stuff. Alright, so we're going to look here at the web scraper. 
So we're going to type Python 3.12 Toogi OSINT W. So now we can see here it already launched the web scraper, but it's running on two different addresses. So if you, I mean, both work, but if you're trying to, if you're running this on a server, you would use this address. If you're running it just on your local machine, you can use both, but preferably this one here. So we're actually going to click that. It's going to take us into our browser here. All right, and in a second, it should connect. There we go. Okay. See, these are all of our contributors. Thanks to, thanks to everyone. I really appreciate it. And we're going to do a simple scan. So we're going to enter our target here, which is Alpha Red again. And we're going to do just dash F. And we're going to do run. See, now it showed here, it's Alpha Red Bird and dash F. So that's good. This here is processing. And it should take some time. But in a couple minutes, the results will be displayed here. I'm going to show you guys how to edit the configuration menu. So we're going to say no to the updates. You can enter your target here if you want. I'm just going to skip that. And we're going to type dash dash. Go to fake. There we go. And yes. Here we've got all different options. So let's say I'm going to change the color scheme. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of the green. So we'll actually change that to red. How about that? There we go. And let's go back to the config menu again. And why don't we change the language here? So we'll do five. We've got a lot of different languages to choose from. We have English, Arabic, German, Spanish, French, Hindi, Hebrew, Italian, Russian, and Portuguese. So we're gonna go with Portuguese since that's our latest. And we're gonna and we're gonna do dash Q for quit. And yes. And we're gonna re relaunch. There we go. See, now it's in red. And now it's in Portuguese. Alright, let's say we want to change it back. The commands are still the same. Oops. There we go. The commands are still the same. Doesn't matter which language. But we're just going to... Here we go. Five. Alright, there we go. And now it should be back into English. Let's close that. And... Yeah, let's just open that again. There we go. Right, let's say you want to go ahead and download a website. So we're going to go, we're going to write in Python 3.12 to Geosynth. We're going to enter that. We're going to say no for updates. Now you can go ahead and skip your target since we're not really going to be scanning. And we're going to type dash s. There we go. Now make sure to take notice that it's a capital S because there's a difference. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do, now let's do Google. How about that? Google.com. Now, there is one CSS file that it found. And here we go. It, we're going to say yes. Why don't we download the videos? And we got to enter the site again. There we go. Now, see, this image here was not able to download. But that's okay. So now, if we exit here, we can do dash Q. We're going to clear again. We can type ls. And we can do ls slash downloaded, downloaded sites. There we go. And we should be able to see this is the list of CSS files. This is one CSS file. And these are the JavaScript files. Let's say you want to view the list of your last scan. So we can go ahead and type cd captured. Oops, cd captured. You are ed. There we go. See it inside here, if we can type ls, we have alpha redbird.txt. This is my last target here. If I look for somebody else, there'd be a different file here. We can type cat, and you put alpha redbird.txt. And here we go. And these are the last scan results of this file. Very nice. So we'll type clear. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you need any extra help, check the repository or you can join the Discord server in the description.